Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where we will be going through the Bitcoin chart together to find the most important support and resistance levels on the medium term for Bitcoin. We're also going to be taking into consideration some of the important news that's coming out right now. A lot of fear, uncertainty and doubt in regards to the tether, but in regards to a lot of people in power talking negatively about Bitcoin and the result that this is having to the charts. I also would like to be covering my current Bitcoin trading position. Um, so we've got a lot we've got a lot to cover in this video and it's going to be a massively important update. And I truly recommend that you right now block all distractions around you. Turn off all the distractions and for the next 10 to 15 minutes, give me your full attention because I can say right now this is going to be one of the best technical analysis videos you are ever going to see. And you will thank yourself by the end of the video for paying attention. So without further said or do, ladies and gentlemen, let's go into the Bitcoin chart. So ladies and gentlemen, I would like to start off by reminding you how we have been successfully trading Bitcoin over the past few days. As you know, we've been doing a lot of public free live streams for you all where we have been explaining the short position that we've been holding on Bitcoin chart. And what I'm going to do is play this on the screen so you can see that position. And I'm going to talk over it of why we were taking the short. But this is the first thing that I'd like to acknowledge that we are in a Bitcoin bull market. And there's a lot of people with the opinion of don't short Bitcoin in a bull market or, or maybe period don't short Bitcoin. And my counter argument to this is why would I not short Bitcoin if I'm expecting a 20% drop in price? Even if I'm bullish on Bitcoin and I can make 20% more Bitcoin, like on this short position, I made 6.8 Bitcoin. So if I can increase my holdings from that, then, the, the, you know, why would you want to hold the drawdown of, you know, being under the mentality of just hodl, don't short Bitcoin. You know, it, it kind of invalidates the argument, doesn't it? If you can make more Bitcoin, then why would you not kind of approach the market in this way? Um, obviously, you know, you have to acknowledge you do have to have skill to be able to do this. You're not just going to be able to randomly come in and without any sort of plan, short Bitcoin and expect to make money. But when you have a a high probability plan and you have the opportunity here, for instance, I made two hundred thousand dollars in two days, then taking profits at $29,000. And during this video, I want to explain why I took profits at $29,000. And in my mind, my answer is why would I not short Bitcoin? Okay. Um, so that brings us on to the next point here of why were we shorting Bitcoin during this downtrend? Well, really simply because it was in a downtrend. So as you can see here, what we had on the chart was a lower high, another lower high, another lower high, another lower high, and even right now on the Bitcoin chart, this is potentially another lower high. So during the course of this video, I will be going over the next really important resistance on the Bitcoin chart. And I will also be giving you the important support that I will be looking to trade. But I want to explain first why we saw a massive fake out on the Bitcoin chart last night. And it was actually from this bounce right here at about 10.15. It was the reason we were bouncing off of $30,005. That was the low of the Bitcoin chart, $30,005. And you actually got a 5% bounce here. You had a 5% bounce in 30 minutes. And why, in my opinion, that was the ultimate trap. As I was saying to my team over in the champions group, wait till we lose $30,000, it will come. <laughs> and I guess I speak with a high degree of confidence there saying it will come. Just wait for it to be taken out. My confidence was obviously I cannot guarantee 100%, but I had like 99.9% .9 probabilities that we will be taking that low. And why was I so confident that that bounce was the bounce to short for another move down? It's because the average, you know, I truly believe like we're in, we're in like the matrix looking at the charts and the average trader is like a kindergarten level trader. Okay, the, the competition in cryptocurrency is really low. I think the average person here is thinking, wow, we've just bounced from $30,000. Let's place my stop loss below $30,000. And they're going to be thinking, if I get stopped out, price is going to be going much lower anyway. So I have an amazing long here with my stop loss at $30,000. And what I am thinking is, let's hunt the stop losses. What we can do is recognize where every trader is going to be placing their stops. So we want to basically 
take the stops and then reverse the market. So basically people are going to be like, okay, here's my support. I'll place my stop loss below that support. And they think if price loses 30K, it's going to do that. What we're actually thinking is let's take those stops and then reverse the price. How many times have you been in the position of getting stopped out and price instantly goes back up? It happens a lot because we can recognize where people are drawn to placing their stops. And if there are a lot of stops at that point, the bigger traders can recognize that and think, let's hunt that liquidity. Let's just hunt the stops and then reverse the market straight away. So that was why I was so confident we were going to be taking out $30,000. And I'll come towards, towards the end of the video why we're taking profit at $29,000. I think you're going to really like it. Um, so the next port, the next part of the stream, before I get over the next important support and resistance level that we can be trading from right now, I'd like to bring your attention to the, the news that's been happening in the Bitcoin chart recently. And you might be under the perspective that Bitcoin has moved down here because of the tether FUD, because of what's happening in the US, because of people talking negatively of Bitcoin, because of some influx of bitcoin to the exchanges because of grayscale because of x y and z there's going to be a hundred different reasons you can give me but what i'm going to show you here is a clip from my champions live stream on the 17th of november before we had even had that move up to thirty eight thousand dollars i want to I want you to just listen to this it's about one minute please pay attention and just listen to what i'm saying and my excitement of this opportunity of the short that is so nice oh my god look at this you literally come down to the medium line you bounce you come down to the medium line you bounce the low of this is game we're going to envision it taking a little bit of time but look how that would play out where you would have the low of the power of the, the low of this pitchfork on the daily and you would also have the high of the pitchfork on the weekly oh my god <laughs> like this is so amazing um oh this is just so nice you have an unreal an unreal amount of confluence that is so amazing um you just have so much confluence in that weekly for it to reject you know so you can see there how i was pointing out even though we were in a massive uptrend on the bitcoin chart this was the first time in 10 weeks that i have given a short trade so for the prior 10 weeks, I have been giving only longs of the long, the stop loss and the target. They have only been long trades. And what I do here is swing trades. So the trade will last anywhere from a week to two weeks. This was the first time that I'd given a short trade. And it was because I had recognized the massive amount of confluence that we had for a short and a likelihood that we will be getting a decline in price before seeing any major upside. So for me, like my, my lights were lighting, my eyes were like lighting up there. I was very excited of the short position that we were going to be given on this chart. But you can really, hopefully you can understand here of, I didn't know that there was going to be negative news coming out. I didn't know that there was going to be X, Y, and Z. You know, people are so obsessed with looking at the grayscale looking at whale alerts so i can say if, if you trade off of these things like whale alerts like you are just never ever going to be making money on the bitcoin chart i find it very unlikely that you will be making money consistently by looking at these sort of things you know if you're following the news you're late to the move if you're looking at the whale alerts you're, you're late to the move if you're looking at the influx of bitcoin onto an exchange you're late to the move you know the only way you can be ahead of the market is by actually doing really nice technical analysis having that really nice plan you know, we say 95% of traders fail. So it's like that we're going back to last night. You know, why were people buying this bounce here? In the moment, what you can imagine is a lot of people bought up here and then they sold down here and then there was a rise in price. And then they probably bought up here and then price declined and they got stopped out here. And now price is increasing again. They'll buy back. And so continuously, 95% of traders are losing money for two main reasons. Reason number one, trading is actually, you have to have a degree of skill. You know, it's not easy. You have to put in some time and effort to learn what you are doing. And if you do not have that skill, 
you may make a few lucky trades and you make might make a lot of money luckily in a few trades but consistently over time there's no way there's no way that consistently over time you can make money trading if you do not know what you're doing if you don't have that skill i truly believe you're you're gambling you, you you're just getting a lucky streak and that, that is not going to happen consistently over time so number one people fail is because they just haven't actually put in the time to learn the skill and number two is they don't have a plan that obviously falls from number one they can't have a good plan because they don't have the knowledge yet but a lot of people are buying up at the highs and then they're selling at the lows where you should be looking for shorts up at the highs and buying down at the lows like this was just a just a perfect example you know i was so confident we will be taking out that level because average trader sees that bounce five percent bounce they're very excited they're buying up at those highs we saw millions up at those highs they have their stop loss here they're expecting if i get stop price goes much lower what happens we take out the stop and we reverse the market back to the upside painful for many traders brilliant for traders like myself but what we're saying here is you gotta have that plan you gotta have really have to know what you're doing and you know to highlight once again that i was recognizing that resistance region of thirty eight thousand dollars from a technical reason i had no idea what the news was going to be i had no idea of any of this all i was doing was simply trading the charts and even we were, even though we were in a massive uptrend took my first short on a swing trade and well obviously it paid very 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 nicely so what i want to move on to next is the really important support and resistance levels on this bitcoin chart for me we are still doing the lower highs lower highs lower highs and lower highs so although we've got a really nice bounce here of 10% by the way 10% bounce from the low to the high up here let me just show you this 10% from the low to the high massive 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 but from this bounce the next important resistance level you might want to write this down for me is $33,300 $33,300 is a big resistance and what we can say is if we have a big resistance on the bitcoin chart if price hits this resistance we can expect a rejection but if you get through that resistance and then you claim it as support that massive resistance turns into massive support so it's basically resistance once broken will flip into support so what we're saying right now is we're in the local downtrend still we're still putting in lower highs and 33,300 is a key resistance to claim that if reclaimed we can expect a very nice move to the upside what well, i'd be looking towards Thirty-five thousand, and then thirty-six thousand dollars. I mean, two key levels. But that thirty-three thousand three hundred is is such a big resistance right now. If we can claim it as support, we have a very nice base on the Bitcoin chart of that base line at twenty-nine thousand dollars. I want to give you a little bit of a secret here of why we bounce. How many people do you really think understand why we bounced here? And I'll be giving you the exact reason in this this segment here of why did we bounce at this place let me give you the reason we're going to take the fib speed fan here from the low okay from the low up to the high and then we're going to zoom into the chart and look at this ladies and gentlemen the 0.5 fib speed fan to the dollar to the dollar holding you up there for that 10 percent bounce you can see how the two five here had support bounce support bounce support bounce support bounce before losing that we come straight to the 0.5 10 percent bounce to the upside that is what you call accuracy and there's never ever a random pivot price is always turning around for a technical reason and that is what you're seeing right here ladies and gentlemen is what's that is why we bounced right there on the bitcoin chart i love the speed fan very underrated tool <laughs> if you want to learn how to use the speed fan we have that education at chart champions um but yeah that's why we bounced here and we can see we're getting that bounce underway what i'll say is if we lose this speed fan support which for me is important we can actually expect this to move down towards i would say your next support is coming in there around twenty six thousand five hundred, down to about twenty four thousand dollars for me very important support regions this is obviously your support that you had prior to the christmas day slash new year break or you had that breakout from the holidays and it's this this period here of consolidation that we had it's your next major support if we lose the speed fan and the speed fans holding us up right now so it looks really nice but if we lose that speed fan then i'd, I'd be really looking down towards that 26 to twenty-four thousand dollar region you know we have this region of consolidation that should be holding us up you then have your next levels uh, so that would be my important support to the downside so at the moment 
for me, 33,300 is such a key level on the Bitcoin chart. It's such a key level. Uh, if we can reclaim that as support, it looks it looks very nice to have formed a base here on the Bitcoin chart. And once again, market extremely fearful. You know, <laughs> don't make it up really good. You like market's so fearful and generally then you get the bounce. So I'm, I'm kind of looking for the bounce here, to be honest with you. I think the market's very scared. But, uh, you know, if we're unable to change the market structure, if we, if we lose the speed fan as support, then naturally, yeah, we're going to be looking, we're going to be looking low. And I'd say towards 20, 20, 26 to 24 thousand dollars in in my opinion um but yeah I'm, I'm happy with the bounce that we've had here 10 percent. i mean you can't not be happy with it if you were trading it well um that really brings us on to the next segment that i want to show you and that, that is the community like the community has been absolutely killing it these last few days uh obviously not only myself trading it well but we've been doing a lot of live streams the amount of messages that i've received of thank you and just like people posting their money shots, people just absolutely loving the education that we're giving. It is so heartwarming. I absolutely love it. I want to read out some of the comments here because it's, I hope you use this as inspiration. Here we have this guy uh, making 2000 on the screenshot and he says here, I have made $7,000 in total today through being a champion member for just over two weeks. It was the best decision I have ever made and I genuinely thank Daniel and the other champions for the help they provide every day. Hopefully, one day I will be experienced enough to also help members like myself. I'm extremely grateful. We have a lot of new members also still making some gains. We have this guy that says, My first champion trade done, and it is a thousand percent. Can't believe it. Just need another thousand and I can retire. Thousand percent gain on the shorts. Another guy making profits on the shorts. First short of the year. A lot of people taking their first shorts under our, under our guidance, making a lot of money at the same time. Uh, but then obviously we hit $29,000 and we're taking the longs. This guy longed Ethereum as Bitcoin hit the $29,000. He's recognizing that's a good long. Took the long on Ethereum, made a th made one Ethereum overnight. Doltex, amazing. Look at this. Short from 37,650, almost the exact high. Closing that short position, 29,200. Basically shorting the highs and closing that at the lows. Amazing. Here's Igor, long on Ethereum from 1,065, closing that 1,200 almost. I mean, this is just, this is, you know, you can see that there's a skill here that you can learn and you can pick up on it. If you really want to, if you really want to put in some effort, then we're here to help you. What I will say, ladies and gentlemen, is if you would like these sort of setups where I'm giving the entry to stop loss and the target, this is once a week during the champion stream. Uh, the week prior to that, by the way, we were doing live trading. So during the stream, this is not hindsight. This is not entering the stream with already in position, but taking the trade during the stream. Took that trade during the stream. This is the one minute chart. chart. You Took that trade. Seen a little bit of the... And during that stream, we actually made $15,000. $15,000 during the hour live stream that we had there. That was obviously the pre week prior to, the, to that. On so the 11th, we done that. On the 17th, which was Sunday, given that short setup, obviously saw the move down from 38000 to $29,000. And now we're attempting to get that bounce underway. During this video, I've given you my, my really important resistance level currently, which is 33300 If we can claim that, very nice support to see that very nice potential move, strong move to the upside. If we are unable to change the market structure and unable to claim that resistance, I think we could be looking down to test the speed fan once more. If we lose that, I would say down towards twenty six dollars to $24,000. What I will say, ladies and gentlemen, is if you want to see me do this live in the time for absolutely free, I will say if this video gets 1,000, let's say 1,400 likes, I will do a live stream for you. What you can do to help that, you can click on the little thumb button here, turn it blue, smash up the likes. You can click on share. You can share this over on Twitter, Facebook, email, copy the link and send it over on WhatsApp. That will help get the video out and... Uh, you know, it's an absolute pleasure to be helping so many people. The amount of messages is absolutely crazy. I absolutely love helping so many people. It's, it's, it is just, it blows my mind every day. You know, I started off the channel helping one person and now helping 20,000. It's just absolutely never imagined it. Never imagined it. It's, um, it's an absolute, it's an absolute pleasure, honestly, to make these, make this content in an educational way. No moon boy stuff, no shilling, just giving you straight up education, giving you straight up trades and, you know, everything's just going very nice. So I hope that you've enjoyed me keeping it real in this video. Do appreciate the thumbs up on the video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Next to the subscribe, you can tick the bell and click on all so you get notified as soon as we go live. 
And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in a live stream shortly. I uh, hope you have an absolutely brilliant, brilliant day. Thank you ever so much. And goodbye, champions. Thank you ever so much.